Hey Popverse, Veronica Valencia here, and I am with the talented minds behind Titans. We have Brenton Thwaites, Ryan Potter, Joshua Orpin, and Greg Walker. How are you today? Very well. How are you well. doing? I'm wonderful. Now, how has your New York Comic Con been so far? It was amazing. The energy has been outstanding, right guys? Like everyone's really excited for the season and have been fans since season one, and we definitely feel that and appreciate that. Feeling the love. Mind-blowing experience here at New York. Comic Con. Is it is it this your first Comic Con or like first panel? Yeah, yeah. Well, the first panel for sure. F first real Comic Con. I've mm -hmm. I've been to a couple of smaller kind of cons, Australian like local style, cons, uh, but this con. this one just blew my mind. Yeah, we're a big one here. <laughs> now, Titan Teen Titans is such a beloved entity. How would you say you approach bringing both the show and your characters to the screen? We put faith into the writers that they're going to find the, the right balance between all the mediums of Titans, but then also, you know, honoring the version that they've crafted, uh, striking the balance between what, 65, 75 years worth of Titans history. It's not easy. So you guys are. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, there's a lot to draw from. And what Ryan said is right, actually dead on is that we have a lot of source material. Plus, we just have the stories that we bring from our own lives and that they bring from their own lives. So it's this kind of like traffic jam of story inspiration that mm -hmm. kind of melts and then turns into a Titan season every year. Yeah, we're lucky as actors that we get to have the collaboration with the writers. You know, you don't, you don't usually always get that. Sometimes you're hired to do the job, say the lines, stand on the mark. Um, but we've developed a really, a really nice relationship with the creative team in that if we have an idea, it's heard. You know, maybe not always done, but it's, it's heard. We talk about it. Greg always hears our ideas. And it's a really good place to kind of, you know, feel like you're adding creatively to the project. Mm -hmm. And what was your relationship with Titans before you came onto the show? I actually um, auditioned for the first season of Titans and I didn't get is that the role. True? That is true, yeah. I I yeah. Well, I think we've had this discussion, but I, you, might, you might not have seen it or maybe you didn't remember because I didn't get very far in the process. Uh, I, I don't know what the role was because the, they <laughs> were, were, there were fake things. scripts. It wasn't, a real, it wasn't a real scene. It was a fake scene that, that they'd created for the audition. So I auditioned, didn't get it, so sort of bitter and disappointed that I didn't get it that I was like, I'm not watching this. What was the so, role? I don't know. It was it was dummy sides. Oh, I, I didn't see. tell what the role was. It I was, bet it was uh, Hank. I it might have been Hank. It might have been Jason Todd. Oh, but yeah. but um Aquaman. Uh, uh, was it Aqualad? Aqualad. Could have been Aqualad. We'll never know. All right. We'll never know. But here <laughs> I am now, and, and I'm, once I got this role, I went back and watched season one. I, I, I forgave you guys. For that. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. Yeah, huge Titans fan. Uh, prior to this iteration, I grew up with Teen Titans, and as soon as I found out that I got the role, I dove into the comic book lore and history, and yeah, I, I mean, what's not to love? Every generation has their version of Titans, and you know, we're just trying to deliver uh, our own version for the next generation. I actually hadn't, uh, I hadn't any kind of um, exposure to Titans before the role. I mean, uh, is it big in Australia? It is. Is it big in Australia? Teen Titans or yeah. Titans the show? Titans in general, like Teen Titans, Titans. It's got a pretty it good is. following. I mean, yeah. Batman and Robin, obviously, was kind of my, my only mm -hmm. kind of connection to it. And I loved the idea that it was a story about Robin who had kind of finished you know, the journey of what we had all seen on TV and mm -hmm. in the movies. And it seemed fresh and um, yeah, but I, I didn't really, I wasn't uh, into the comics or anything until I was cast. And now Ryan, there was a photo that was posted with uh -oh. you and Stargirl, right? <laughs> or yeah, crossover? Maybe? Uh, maybe just wishful thinking on Breck's part. I'm not entirely <laughs> sure. She has her own PR agenda. I just it happened to be there. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> now, finally, season four coming very soon. What can you tease of what's to come? Is the release date now public? It is. Anna, Anna just announced it. Yeah. November 3rd. Yeah. Watch it. HBO Max. And dark, horror, scary, metropolis, lots of fun. We love to hear it. We do love to hear it. <laughs> we do! <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us here today, and we'll see you all next time.